<laughs> be like, Dad, Mom doesn't have a uterus. You don't need it. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's like, oh, shit, I forgot. <laughs> what, you need a uterus to have sex? No. Just to have the child. You're like, Dad, how have you had five kids and you don't know how this works <laughs> by now? I just keep coming. I just come all the time. <laughs> That's all I knew. <laughs> Do you know how horny I was at 17? I couldn't get porn like I can now. This have one. you seen the porn online? <laughs> that Asian you see, cat porn. Have you, you seen the amount of porn you can get? I've been buying so much porn, dude. Why would you buy porn? <laughs> I'm like, Dad, why are you buying porn? It's like, what? <laughs> it's for free? I was like, Dad, such a fucking horn dog. All of <laughs> Take this. Welcome back to Horny Dads. Horny dead chips. Uh oh, oh shit. shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> I was half expecting that to happen. Bombed. Oh, I think they're all dead now. I'm going to throw another one in there. Shit. Didn't Mitch have a fucking porn subscription? Evans or No, Strong? Mitch Strong. Probably, yeah. He had one. No, I'm like shit. fairly confident he had like Pornhub Premium or something. I wouldn't doubt it. He seems like the time, the kind. Well, he would masturbate four times a day. That's what he said. Which is entirely too much, in my opinion. Yeah. Even back then. <laughs> like, even in, like, high school. Like, that's that's way too much. Maybe maybe I had, like, a day or two where I did that, but not, like, daily. No. Like, if I was super bored. Oh. Nothing was going on. I remember... You know, I was watching um, Spartacus for ten hours my day. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I remember, um... When I had broken my toe, I think the first time. I think it was the first time. I don't remember. It feels like I'm pretty sure it was the first time. time. They they gave me like some pain medication. And, and it just made you fucking horny. I honestly think it did. Because it was like nonstop. Like I couldn't help myself, you know? <laughs> and it was like, I don't know if it was just like the time of the year thing. I think it was like the medicine. But I really, I have no proof of that. This is what they call boner medicine. <laughs> it's like, whoops, we gave you the wrong kind of medicine. Watch out, Taylor. The shield man is imper- Okay, never mind. No. I was going to say he's impervious. <laughs> it's almost like he has a shield. It's almost like he's shielded from one side. This bubble is really dark. Yeah, it is. I guess because we're powering up everything. What a lame, there. like, yeah, like, what a lame, like, little research facility. It's like, oh, we got a pod of stuff in here. That's, that's all it. it is. <laughs> that's all it is. Pods. Throw it in the I don't have any. Now, this is pod racing. <laughs> <laughs> it's where we race while the pods are hanging out. <laughs> now, this is pod racing. It's a metapod. <laughs> <laughs> Metapod, use Harden. <laughs> yeah, just a pony. It's like, good. All right. Well, well I guess that's it. That's, thank, I raised, thank you for following. I raised the pod. Thank you for my for coming to my TED Talk. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was to <laughs> Thank you guys for coming to my TED Talk. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to support Tanner, me on watch out. Be sure to support me on Patreon. I have no goals set or anything, or no perks, but just give me money. Thank you. Is there some people on Patreon that literally that is, it's just there for people that want to give them money and then people just forget <laughs> that they're fucking... I, 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 I have very like weird oh, feelings gosh. on that stuff, you know? I'm not against Patreon and whatever, but like... I just I would do never it. do it. Like I would never support anybody that way because I don't consume media in that fashion. I just don't. No. Like, don't get me wrong. I like content that certain people make, but like, no. <laughs> I'm just. There's plenty of other things I feel like I should spend my money on, and that's just not one of them. If you're making free content as it is, then you know. If I really like someone's content. And it, it has a specific goal behind yeah. the uh, the content's uh, you know money. 
then yeah, like I don't know, that improving is, the quality of the yeah, show or something. Then I will pass pass along some, but I'm not going to stay one. Yeah, it's basically a one-time payment. Yeah, you'll do. It. I've done that with uh, um, Nathan Barnett when he was producing uh, Neutral, the short film. I, I tossed him a tenner. I'm like, yeah, here you go. Yeah, ain't nothing wrong with Got that. my name in the credits. I'm like, that's fine. <laughs> I don't really, you know, I'm not going to be like a top, top contributor, but. No. You know. Like, um, I'm more more likely to attribute to like a Kickstarter than yeah. I would most Patreons. Well, that's, that's basically what that is that I'm talking about. Like, he was like getting like, you know, crowdfunding for his short film that he was doing. Yeah. Because he wanted to have like a high speed camera and all this shit, you know. Even though pretty much the entire thing takes place on like a desert road out in the middle of like California somewhere. California. Do we go this one? So we probably didn't have to even get permits no, for that or anything. Do this one. Have you ever I seen that short film of his? It's actually pretty good. Yeah, the one where he's like dancing along the car and like the yeah, well, that was the moving. That was the music video. Oh, okay. but like the the short, he actually made a short film based off that music video. Oh uh, no. Um, it's all right. Him. I mean, it's not bad. It's pretty good. I liked it. I like his dad's song. Yeah. <laughs> that's the that's the thing. The last thing I really seen of from him. He's he's pretty great. I like him a lot. Dad wishes to build a deck. Human sweat. No, if you want. I mean, if you're interested in it, I, I recommend checking out the. Yeah, it's just called Neutral. Yeah, it's a, it's the same setup as that uh, music video, but it's um. Yeah, it's uh like the like it's not a full length film. It's maybe like 15, 20 minutes long or something so, like that. Okay, but, so know. it's like a small independent. Yeah, it's a short film. <clears throat> yep. Is uh is his wife the the black haired like lady in that one? Yeah, I don't think he's married. Are you sure? Because I see her in like a lot of the stuff. Maybe they're just going out. Uh, I don't. Or maybe he just likes the same actress. I I don't think I don't think they're in a relationship at all. But maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, I'm. Not, I don't know. I'm not 100 sure. <laughs> I don't know much about Nathan Burnett's personal life. I have no idea. But anytime he live streams, she's never there. So I'm okay. gonna assume that not they're not dating or anything. Oh, I know. Pretty oh. sure her name is Phoebe. I think. Hi, my name is Phoebe. <laughs> Thank you for coming to my she was talk. In, she, she was in some like uh, like commercials and shit too, but he was he was in a couple of big like relatively big name commercials. John Tron's in uh He was in an M and M's commercial. He was in that one that's Hungry Eyes or whatever. Yeah. Hungry Eyes. Yeah, that's him that's him in that one. He's uh he's uh, also doing another one now. But it's like a uh uh what you call it? Ooh. It's for a mobile game. Uh, he plays a like a drill sergeant character. Uh, and uh, do you ever see? Um, sorry, I did. Were you done? I don't mean one more. Just one more. Go thing. for it. Go for it. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. And uh, the, the the only good part is him basically being like, "This is Natasha." I, I, I like her. She, she, she would join my team. And then, you know, I, I always get a giggle out of uh, John Tron's fucking yeah, yeah. little things. Well, any, like, just, the just the way John Tron, like, you know, yes. delivers his shirt is always really funny. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I was going to repair that thing because it was on his day. Um, you can use it if you want to look here. No, I was going to go back in my, um, my suit. Nathan Barnett had this. He's got them on his YouTube channel. I don't think they were ever aired, but he did uh, commercials for the restaurant Chili's. Hey, welcome to Chili's. And he's he was like he had a character for it, and his name was Trail Luaus. <laughs> and it, like every commercial is just him in front of like a brick wall, just talking about how awesome Chili's is. <laughs> but it's like he would just say something. He would just say stuff really like just really dumb anecdotes and stupid like made up words and things so he would always call like he'd call like Chili's restaurants he'd call them restaurants <laughs> yeah, you know you gotta go to the Chili restaurants yeah and he'd be like it's my favorite restaurant and then he'd be like Chili's Brilliant Gras Chili's Brilliant Gras and restaurants <laughs> <what he> <laughs> 
<laughs> and it's like, oh, it's just funny. Like, just this delivery. Like, I don't think they were ever aired. I don't think they were ever on TV. Probably not. But, like, he has, like, the, like, those, I guess you can call them demos, maybe. Or, like, portfolio-type works. Like, he's got them on his, on his YouTube channel. They're actually pretty funny. Because, yeah, he'll just say, like, nonsensical, stupid things. And it's, like, you know, he'll say it in a silly accent or whatever. See, that's that's why I like John Tron. That's why I like, you know, just the way people say shit. Yeah. Yeah, it's the delivery. If you just say everything matter of fact. What? Yeah. What? Uh, uh, like us sometimes. <laughs> like us sometimes. Like, that was very matter of fact, the way you just said that. Sound. The karate noises are, that's how you speak. <laughs> Yeah, you know, that's just <laughs> see. That's the problem. I need to speak like a normal person to be weird. Like, that's one thing that's good about my boss. I can say whatever the fuck I want to him. That's what. That's pretty much how it is with Fabio. <laughs> I think but that's also a bad thing because I don't respect him. <laughs> yeah. I don't well, respect him. I just say shit to his face. That's effectively. And he's like. Okay. That's effectively what it is with, with Fabio. I'm pretty sure Derek threatened to kill Fabio the other day, and it's like, <laughs> you know, no other job would you be able to get away with that type of thing. Yeah. <laughs> I actually just recently, um, I, I kind of said it as a joke to Fabio, but I meant it, obviously, because um, I said to him, like, Fabio, I'm going to get you, like, a coffee mug that says best boss ever or something like that. Because he's been... Uh, working with me pretty well, like because um because of the post office. Yeah, with like scheduling. Like yeah, he's always really cool about that. So I always try to make it um evident like how um, appreciative I am of that. Yeah. So because um, most bosses would not. Yeah. Bend. Yeah. In that kind of. But thing. he's. But I mean, we we hired some new people and stuff. So like we usually have stuff covered, and pretty much any other time that he asks me to come in, I come in anyway. Um, but there, last week he asked me, like, because I worked at the post office on Monday, and then he's like, do you want, he texted me, like, literally, like, right as I'm getting off of work. He's like, do you want to work from 5 to 10 tonight? I'm like, no, not really. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, I can come in if you want, but, like, if, if I don't have to, like, I'd rather not. <laughs> if there's a choice now. Yeah, and, and, then... He's like, and then he's just like, alright, I'll see you Wednesday. And I'm like, alright, cool, thanks. <laughs> but yeah, I, 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 um, like, Last week or whatever, I ordered him a, a mug that says "Best Boss Ever," so I'm just gonna give it to him at some point, probably like closer to Christmas time. But I'll give it, I'll give it to him and just be like, you know, I mean it. <laughs> See, I don't mean it if I were to say it. Like, I do not respect my boss. That's fine. And I'm sure your relationship is different than with me and like Fabio. Yeah, he 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 basically uh -huh. has me do everything for him. So would you would you go to a barbecue with your boss? Oh yeah, but I'd probably make fun of him during it. Okay. Well, because we did that for the we did we had the tavolioli barbecueoli during the the, the summertime and we had, we went to uh, Metro Park or something. Yeah, and that was a lot of fun. You see, the main problem I have with him is that uh, him and my bo my old boss Dave, who is now his boss. I think, um, I think we're gonna activate all these fucking posts. Yeah, basically they have two different styles of how they do things. Uh -huh. My old boss was I wouldn't make you do anything that I wouldn't do, and also showed up and actually did the stuff. Right. This one's more of I don't feel like doing this. I'm gonna have you do it. That's dumb. Yeah. You know what? Which is fine by me in general because it actually is good training for me. Right. To just because I was gonna know. say it depends on the circumstance. Like if it was like if it was like you know a brand new employee coming in and it's like something this is a job that they're gonna ha inevitably have to do during their time at work, then I'd say like sometimes that's not a bad thing. Yeah. Like <clears throat> he basically he is enabling my. Uh, doing it myself by being lazy. He is lazy. <laughs> right. And if uh, even if I knew all this stuff, he's going to still make me do it. Right. Because so he knows yeah. I can do it. It's an so inevitable thing. Yeah. Then, yeah. That's why I don't respect him. But I'm not like I don't hate him or anything because I am learning. Right. By doing. Well, that's the best way to learn. Yeah. 
So, you know, I have a I have a love-hate relationship with the guy. Yeah. But he is making bad decisions. Well, lately cuz he's been doing uh, one of our one of the co-workers. What? He's been doing one of the co-workers. Is that like an affair or is it Yeah, just... well, technically he, he's getting a divorce. Oh. So, he's just doing her, but oh. she is the the like the the factory slut. Scandalous. Yeah. And uh, no one's slut. no one's supposed to know, but she uh <laughs> You make it sound like every place has that. <laughs> like, all right, welcome to the crew. This is the factory slut, Tina. <laughs> hey, <laughs> I'll suck your dick in the parking lot. Meet me in the janitor's closet. <laughs> but yeah, no, that's true. No. Like, she would. Yeah. Well, I mean, maybe that's what makes that work play specials. You guys have a factory slut, so I don't know. <laughs> For four years, no, three years, because she started a year after me. For three years, she's been trying to get me to let her suck my dick. And I... Uh, really? Uh, yes. Like, when weird. I say factory slut, I That's mean weird. literally. That's fucking weird. She is literally the, the factory slut. That is not good. Not a fan of that. <laughs> she has done most of the guys at work. Wow. I am steadfast in not being well, yeah, obviously, one of them. Obviously. You're fucking engaged. <laughs> yeah, well, that doesn't uh, really affect a lot of people. But I mean, but I mean, like, I don't know. Because that's the thing. Like, most of the guys that she is done with are either married, or I mean, she must get off on ruining marriages or something. Yeah. Because <laughs> uh, well, her, she was actually engaged when she was doing all these guys and stuff. And then she's once the guy finally figured it out and broke up with her, she was like, "I'm so sad without him." It's like, bitch, you've been fucking, you've been fucking like literally fucking everyone, <laughs> like not even like I'm joking, haha. Yeah, like, like, uh, literally, like literally, literally, just a prank, bro. Yeah, yeah like, no, literally, you're literally fucking everyone, fucking everybody. <laughs> So how do you know if it's supposed to be a secret? Then how do you know? Like she just tell yeah. everybody? Yeah. No, well, no, she tells me. Oh. Because she thinks that uh, by telling me things, that's going to convince you. Convince yeah, right. me. Open the, She's open like, the I gate. trust you. I'm like, that's cool. But like, you shouldn't. Be I don't trust it. you. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, clearly, if you're sleeping with every single guy, like that right there is reason enough for me to not trust you. <laughs> yeah. But now she's like. Uh, after after she broke up uh, with her fiance, the uh, he he went about uh, telling everyone that like oh she's a terrible person and all this kind of stuff. Here we go, zombies coming out here. Yeah. Hold up, hold up. Let's wait. It might oh. just be the might just be the dog. Could be. How hungry are <laughs> That's weird though. That's really bizarre. I've never heard that like actually happening in a oh, yeah. place. <laughs> there was one at Kroger. I mean, too. I mean, in fairness, you know what? Like, I I shouldn't say that like that's un that unheard of, but like I don't know. Just I've never personally like talked to anybody who's who's experienced it. I guess. Yeah. But yeah, no, there's a Kroger one too. When I was at Kroger. Oh yeah. But uh, I didn't talk to her much because she was on first shift. She was a factory slot. <laughs> well, for that one, she'd be a grocery slot. So. Same, <clears throat> same basic principle. Yeah, but yeah, she does not grocery people too. Grocery slut. <laughs> That's funny. That's also very fucked up, but whatever. Yeah. But yeah, so what was I saying? Oh yeah, the guy dragged her her name through the mud and all that, and then one of his friends is just like. I want another piece of that. And now they're dating. <laughs> just well, like, it's probably it must not be that difficult then at that point. Like clearly, yeah. No, it's not. She she has said on multiple occasions, "Bill, you can have me whenever you want me." I'm like, "Thank you very much for the sentiment." <laughs> <laughs> but no, thank you. And she's like, "Okay," and then like walks away. <laughs> Dude, like that's straight up like. Sexual harassment. Yeah, yeah, it is. 100%. <laughs> that is like. 
<laughs> That's straight up sexual harassment, dude. Yeah, I've told HR, and uh, they haven't we done should. much about well, it yet. Because, well, it's a woman versus a man, and obviously... I guess, but men, still, it's like... Men are the only thing that can sexually harass anyone. <sighs> At least she isn't, like, trying to force herself, except for that one time. <laughs> what? <laughs> except for what one time? <laughs> She fucking came at me. Isa, what are you doing? <laughs> hey, we're back. <laughs> you know, there's there's a, a Frank Zappa song called Crew Slut. Crew and, Slut? Yeah. Oh, yeah, sorry about that. The puppy. The puppy. Yeah, the puppy the, came The in. puppy and the dad. The puppy and my dad. Yeah, the... <laughs> he's got condoms. A, he's got... <laughs> yeah, dad, what do you think about my condoms, dude? I'm gonna fucking bow. He's like, yeah, I took a couple of them. <laughs> Why? <laughs> There's this fucking factory store over at the plastic <laughs> place. <laughs> the thing is, she would totally do your dad too. I'm, she, I'm sure she would. Like, she has no like age range or anything like that. She, <laughs> she, she's done, to my knowledge, more people than I have done in my whole entire life in this one year. Wow. She fucked three guys in California wow. while still uh, um, dating her uh, fiance. Her fiance. Um, she's the, just that kind uh, of personality, I guess. I don't know. One of Oops, the I think I just killed you. <laughs> one of the material handlers. Swim! Swim! X. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. I think you're probably too far gone now, but you can try. <laughs> <laughs> So she, so she fucked three dudes in California. Yeah, at least one of the material handlers. Is there even anything underneath you? Like, maybe just look and see if there's any. Nope, okay, you're dying. Oh, I can't even use the thing. <clears throat> yeah, you can't admit error now. Um. Sorry, that was my fault. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, Bruce. Bruce Almighty. Bruce. Yeah, we call him Bruce Almighty. He's like this single 40-year-old dude who's losing most of his hair. Um, Me too. You're not 40. I'm not losing most of my hair, just the stuff on the top. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see. What else has she done? Well, obviously my boss. Right. Um. Uh, what's his name? The guy on first shift. The guy on third shift. Uh, she uh, she attempted. Oh my God. She gets around, dude. Yeah, she has. She, as she said herself, when I asked why, uh, why is she? Still dating uh, the boss guy if he's an asshole. She's like, I've had a lot of sex in my life, and he is the best at it. And I'm like, well, okay. I, but he's such an asshole. I'm like, yeah, well. <laughs> that's a relationship that's meant to last right there. Yeah. <laughs> she, she keeps saying, like, oh, he says that... We're going to get together once uh, him and his wife's divorce is final. And then... Like, and they're going to get married? No, just together. Okay. Like dating. Yeah, and just then, do that. Uh, just do that. <laughs> and then, like, the most recent one was... Uh, that she told me was... I think it's over between him and I. Because... He, he keeps saying that he can't trust me. Because of all the guys I've been with, I'm like, rightly so. <laughs> he's probably, he's not 100% that those, correct. That suspicion is not unfounded. Not at all. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> so yeah. And she's not like extremely attractive no. or anything like that. She's averagely attractive. She can, you just, give me, can you give me a comparison? Like, who does she look like? Oops. Hit the wrong button. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, just crazy. Jesus Christ! Damn. Um, you're still alive? Holy shit! 
I was not expecting that thing to just come <laughs> yeah, fucking just smash right into this fucking thing. What are you doing, butthole? Watch out, Taylor! Ow! It's I'm, on under, underwater. I'm on underwater fire! Oh, God. But yeah, I think she, she said that this year she's had sex with, I think, nine people. Nine different people. At least six of them were, no, five of them were when she was in a relationship. Okay. I mean, some people are just like that, man. Like, whatever. You know. But you know clerks with 37 dicks? How many dicks the she sucked? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely more than that. <laughs> yeah, because that's just the amount of people she had sex with. Yeah. Not how many people she had foreplay with. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, 37 is quite a lot, too, yes, frankly. It is. But it's more than that. We're going to space. You know, then she is indeed a factory slut. That's what I was saying. Like, you know, Frank Zappa's got a song called Crew Slut, so maybe <coughs> he should have had a song called Factory Slut. <laughs> but, um, yeah. That's, that's her, basically. Slut. If I were to try to describe her... <sighs> That'll be the name of this episode, by the way, is Factory Slut. <laughs> Unless we said something else funny at the beginning. I don't remember. It was our, It was so long ago. <laughs> it was like 20 minutes ago. <laughs> um, let's see. She is probably... She's like a six. She's five foot... Ooh. I would say five foot... Six, like yes, you know, a little shorter. Um, long reddish brown oh, hair. Fuck. Uh, okay. Uh, brown hair with red highlights in it, basically. Okay. Um. She's probably a hundred and ninety, hundred and eighty pounds. Okay. Oh. Big boobs. Big like butt. <laughs> Well, next time on Chin Step Chaps, we'll check out them boobs and butt. And we're on to this stupid fucking level. <laughs>